They have been undergoing military training since January 5, 2021 at Zambia Military Academy in Kabwe. These are Zambia Army officer cadets who have today been introduced to the battlefield environment to test their courage at a Gagan Gallery range in Indola. In what the Army traditionally call baptism under fire, the officer cadets were introduced to sounds of war in an exercise called battle inoculation. Zambia Army Commander Lieutenant General Stadi Alibozo said the battle inoculation is an important exercise for officer cadets to have a feel of the fluid battlefield environment in a worst case scenario. It is important to the cadets to undergo uh, such training as they conclude their training because they have to understand and appreciate the intensity of fire that the various weapons can produce. By so doing, to be able to be baptized with the Zambia, as they graduate, they will know how effective these weapons are. He, however, said the army could not fire high trajectory and higher caliber weapons due to encroachment of the training area by citizens. We brought them here to have a battlefield environment by experiencing fire from various weapons of the Zambia army. We couldn't bring everything on the ground because of the limitations of the range where it is now encroached. And therefore, we had to do mostly with the direct fire weapons. The battle inoculation is an important exercise for officer cadets to have a clear and fluid battlefield environment in a worst case scenario. Yes, it is important that we, at all times, we have training ammunition because. During peacetime, we have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Therefore, just find the need for ammunition of various calibers and in large amounts because training is our business in order to safeguard the sovereignty. United States of America Defense Attaché Lieutenant Colonel Tony Stabro, Malawian Defense Attaché Brigadier General George Piri, members of the Copper Belt Provincial Jet Operations Committee were given an opportunity to fire the weapons. The Zambia Army commander who was accompanied by members of the general staff also took time to check on the defensive position at 